Hey there, welcome back to Short Triggers. Let me know one thing first that have you ever missed an important update or important notification from your favorite website? I think yes. But don't worry about that anymore because in today's video I will show you how you can get instant notification on your WhatsApp whenever your favorite websites like it may be educational sites it may be news website so whenever they will post the latest blog post or any other updates you will get a notification on your whatsapp including the direct post link sounds cool right so this is devraj from team short triggers let me give you another real life example suppose you are too health conscious okay and you regularly follow NDTV health news okay but sometimes you forget to check the latest update on their website so in this situation with the help of short triggers you can get an instant whatsapp notification of that latest post from that website okay here in this video we'll use our most popular automation tool that is short triggers so basically short triggers is an automation tool platform where you can connect different type of wordpress websites plugins etc and also you can connect different web applications like razor pay google forms google sheets etc and make connection between them to automate your workflow and if you want to know about what is workflow what is trigger and what is action in an automation tool in short triggers then you can check this video that is a simple video but quite important okay so let's start the video here i will use rss feed as a trigger and whatsapp as an action okay so you may be thinking about what is rss rss basically is the way to get the latest updates from your websites like when they upload or post any new stuff like a blog post well before starting the workflow we need to talk about some really important things regarding the rss feed like most of the popular website provide daily updates and they place the rss feed icon in their header or footer or any other place in the website but some websites have some exceptions okay so for that you need to simply google the website name and rss along with that i will show you everything in the computer screen suppose let us consider this website wjs.com the wall street journal so go to the footer and you can see that there is option like rss feed this is the rss link we required actually okay so we need to copy that and use on short triggers but there are some website like ndtv you will not find any rss link in the footer or the header option okay you can scroll down but you will never find the rss option here so for this you need to search manually ndtv rss here we will get the rss link like this is the link of health i am clicking on the health here so this is the ndtv rss link for the health and we need to use it on short triggers to get the notifications from there shorttriggers.com this is the official website of short triggers and if you have not signed up yet you can simply sign up and enjoy your free trial i have already an account so i will be signing in here so let's click the sign in option and you can see that this is the main dashboard option of short triggers you can see that there is an option workflow so i have created already different type of workflows here let's create a new workflow for you so click on the create workflow option here and uh, name it like rss to whatsapp and click on this create button Here you can see that this is the workflow interface here is the option to add trigger and there will be a option here to add the action okay so as i mentioned earlier that rss feed will be considered as a trigger here so let's add the trigger click here and search for rss this is the rss feed trigger here and we need to select the event like new item in feed runs when a new item is added to the rss feed it indicates that when the workflow will start working actually when 
the website will post something new something latest the workflow will start so i am selecting new item in the feed and the next option it is asking for the rss feed url suppose we need the ndtv url so search for ndtv rss because the rss icon is directly not available on the website page so this is the rss link here here you can see the different type of links present i will select suppose india so the rss link will be this one for india and suppose you are interested in health then you can select the health option also for now i am selecting the india option let's copy it and paste it on show triggers next we need to test the connection and data for that we need to fetch the data here so clicking on this fetch button it is important because we have to check whether the data from ndtv side is properly captured or not if the data is fetched successfully it indicates that the next time short triggers will be able to capture the incoming data from ndtv automatically without any error here you can see that this is the title and this is the links and other details also present here next click the save button so the trigger is already set next we need to add the action and the action application will be whatsapp you can get the whatsapp cloud api from the meta developers account so please watch that video here i am clicking on this plus icon and searching for whatsapp so this is the whatsapp cloud api present here next we need to select the event we need to send the text message on whatsapp whenever there is a new post on the website so selecting this option next i will select the connection once you have the meta developers account and the whatsapp cloud api you will be able to connect this with short triggers next it is asking for the phone number and i will write here manually the phone number but you can also map the data in these fields on other workflows like you can simply type at the rate and select your preferred field here because i am adding the phone number here and there is no phone number option i need to type manually i have added my phone number there and if you are adding your phone number please maintain this you need to write the phone number without the plus sign okay next there is a message option you can simply type at the rate to map the data suppose i want to send the link on whatsapp this is the post link that will be automatically sent to my whatsapp number again i am typing add the rate and will add the title here so this is the link and the title okay next there is a test action button once you click that there will be a response received there and also the whatsapp message will be sent we need to click the test action button to check whether all the functionality is properly working or not so click here you can see that the action tested successfully okay next we need to click the save button the workflow is created and the rss feed considered as the trigger and whatsapp as an action so we need to publish the workflow click on the publish button let me show you the whatsapp message here you can see that the whatsapp message is already received whenever ndtv will publish any post i will receive the notification of that post on my whatsapp so this is the process very simple i think the concept and the total process is clear to you and if you run into any blockage you can simply drop us an email or comment below we'll get back to you soon so please do not forget to subscribe the short triggers youtube channel for today goodbye see you in next video